We often hear vendors talk about learning science. But really, what is the science of learning and why do we need one? We asked this question to two of the co-coordinators at the Simon Initiative, Carnegie Mellon University's Interdisciplinary Center for the Study and Application of Learning Sciences. So science is about uncovering truth, but really what it's about is it's about building models that we can use to understand at a good approximation of the truth. So when you talk about a science of learning, what I see the value and the, the process is doing is getting a good model for how learning works. I think, you know, scientists is about often unpacking the simple, you know, right? Newton, watch the apple fall. Like, how, what could be simpler than that, right? But then there's all this mathematics about gravity around how it's falling, right? Like, if you slow it down, it's going slower in the first half than the second half, right? Uh, and you only notice those things if you slow it down in some sense and study it or, you know, have a microscope or a telescope, right? And so part of doing science and education is finding ways to see the unseen and make inferences about what's going on, you know, underneath the surface, in this case, this surface, right? <laughs> what's going on in the mind. We can develop these models by um, studying students' learning in natural and artificially created situations, manipulate those situations, and collect data on how their learning goes. Does it go better in this situation than that situation? And ideally, if we had some model before we did that investigation, we had a prediction going in and an explanation underlying that prediction because we have a sort of a model in our minds about how the learning should unfold and at the end it should go like this. And we can look at the data and say, did learning go the way we thought? Did the end result look like our prediction? Did the process unfold the way we thought? And then with those data and that comparison process between the data and the model, we refine and revise our model and make it closer and closer to the truth. Sometimes what we don't recognize is that there may be certain hidden prerequisites or hidden skills. Um, so, you know, we did A and B, and after all, this new topic is just combining A and B, right? So I did everything I should. Why are they having trouble, so much trouble on putting it together? And but we've seen in many instances that there's, there's often a sort of hidden seat. If you find that, then you can design a new uh, set of activities that addresses that seat. Well, I think this idea of having a model of the learner is central to good teaching. You kind of want to simulate in your mind, if I do this and they do that and I respond like this, how is that going to support their learning? Through the experiences, this sort of pseudo experiments that one does as a teacher, I mean, I think people don't realize that teaching involves so many micro decisions, moment to moment decisions. How should I respond? Should I respond to that student's question? Should I let them, you know, try a little bit further? And, but my point is to say that all the way to, you know, what decision do I make about um, creating the learning environment in which they're trying to learn? But all of those are little experiments, and the teacher, by observing the data, what the student does in response, is kind of refining his or her model of the students. So I think that's a real commonality um, between learning science and um, what a teacher does. What learning science can do that might be difficult in the context of teaching is do that work and look at the commonalities that um, arise across contexts or look and see, does learning work a certain way in this context with this kind of student and that way in another context with another kind of student. So I think a teacher usually has a sort of um, a circumscribed scope of um, contexts in terms of the students, the nature of the, the topics and so forth. And so their experience, the data collection is in more a circumscribed set.